Well, hello there. Uh... Hey, y'all. It's me, Thomas Halbert, back at it again. Back at it after a very long time of being gone. You know how I do. So we have a lot to catch up on today, and I honestly have not filmed in a very long time, so I don't even know how I'm going to get through this, if I can even get through this. Like, bitch, I am lost. I am confused. I am disgruntled. I am misplaced. Mama, she is not thriving. There is so much I have to update you guys about on my life. I don't even want to get into makeup yet today. I don't even want to get into anything today. I just want to get into the meat the meat of my life. Where have I been? Like, where have you been, bitch? What's been going on? Like, where have I been? So we're gonna get into that today. Before we get into this video, real deep, 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 deep into it, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the fact that I am now streaming on twitch.tv forward slash Thomas Hubbard, my official Twitch account. <laughs> Bitch, pull up. I know the ops is on. Hi, ops. Oh. Get back up a little bit, actually. You can back up a little bit. Um. I have not been streaming on there in like three years and I had my first stream actually yesterday that I'm filming this and it was such a fun stream you guys came out and supported I was actually su literally surprised that so many people had came out and um, decided to I don't know care if you guys are not following my twitch I'm going to be active on there a lot I'm even going to be reacting to drama that's been happening in the community there's so much stuff that's been happening in the community that I just want to talk shit about I'm also going to be playing video games on my twitch as well so I'm going to be streaming uh League of Legends Fortnite uh all kinds of things all kinds of stuff on there you guys know how I do I'm going to be streaming like every two days like as much as I physically will be willing to and I even might do some streams where I'm getting ready with me and doing my makeup. I also have a Discord. So if you guys want to follow and join my Discord, my community on Discord, it's called The Clamshell. This name is subject to change, but for right now it's called The Clamshell. So just deal with The Clamshell for now, okay? Let's just deal with it, all right? Let's get into the meat of this video. What has been going on? One of the main questions that I've been getting on my social medias from the past, like, several days is why did I put down most of my videos over the last year on my YouTube channel? It, it's a lot. It's really, a, it's a lot. It's a lot that I am going through right now, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. There's so much stuff. There's so many things that has changed in my life. And honestly, you guys, like the very basis of it is that I was in depression. Like I have been in a severe, severe case of depression for maybe five years in a row, maybe more like four years in a row where I have been living in a daze. My life, my my reality has not been, has not been reality. Like I've not been living in reality. Depression has been eating me alive, like constantly. I'm constantly being ate alive by depression. And it's not been till recently where I felt like I've genuinely, and I mean genuinely removed myself from that like, that daze, that disassociation, that not being stuck in reality. And it's required a lot of personal work, a lot of a lot of therapy, a lot of just like reconnecting with myself and just taking a big step back from social media, like a huge step back. Instead of forcing a square into a circle, I just decided to let it be and let it be what it is. And that's just really what's the important thing here with my social media in general is that I lost my spark for it. I lost my love for it. I lost everything for it. I stopped caring about this as much as, and you guys saw that. And I think my last year on YouTube has really shown that. Like I'm just doing it because I have a sponsorship. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm taking a step back. Let me just get a real life job just to keep my life afloat and things flowing smoothly. You know, I've had to get a lot of medical work done, but medical work, I mean, dental work. I've had to get, I don't have a tooth anymore. I just don't have a tooth anymore because just one day I woke up and I had major tooth pain. Floss your teeth, you guys, floss your teeth. Learn from me, floss your damn teeth. I have to. I had to get a bunch of crowns done, so I just, <laughs> all of my money has gone to crowns and dental work over the past like several months. And it's been so infuriating, but like, take it from me, floss your teeth. It doesn't matter if you brush twice a day, if you're not flossing, it's still defeating the purpose. It's defeating the purpose. You're just basically like, wanting to get crowns wanting to get teeth pulled whatever like this tooth on this side it just wasn't savable and luckily it's not one of my like you can't really tell like it's not like oh my god the bitch just got a missing tooth 
you know, and I'm very grateful for that. I might get an implant in the future, but right now, mama, my care credit. I don't even want to talk about care credit right now. So much has been going on and I've just been needing the time away from social media, away from being insecure, caring about my looks, caring about my numbers, caring about the fact that I haven't gained a follower on my YouTube channel in years. I mean, I have gained, but I've lost more. I don't get views anymore. I don't do this. I don't, and it's all my fault. At the end of the day, it's my fault. I just lost my passion. And you could tell that in my videos. If you guys could not tell that I've lost my passion, then you just aren't paying attention strong enough. And what really sparked this like come to Jesus moment, this come to realization moment, if you will, is I finally for the first time in like literal years, actually, I haven't even rewatched any of my old videos or any of my old content um since i made it uh i don't watch my videos i just post them and hope for the best in all honesty i was actually in a discord call with all of my friends i don't know what triggered me to go on me and kevin my ex-boyfriend joint vlog channel that we did together back in 2018 and watch those two videos that are on there but i did it and i had the biggest smile on my silly stupid big head ever like literally ever and i just was like oh my god it was like this realization of like oh my god bitch you are so fucking cool like i'm cool like that was cool of me i was a youtuber hundreds of thousands of views making all this just being a dumbass on in in california la just doing all these fun things that so many people wish that they could do wish they could they could experience and i experienced it like i'm so cool for that and it made me it just it was like a reminder of who i am and who i was and who i can still be it it was necessary it definitely was necessary and it made me feel really happy for the first time i wasn't looking back in the past of you know, regret, misery, despair, sadness. I was like, it was like fond memories, like ha like memory lane of just like me being happy. I don't know how to explain it. I was just so grateful to be able to rewatch all these videos. I rewatched all of my content from 2018. I just sat there and watched it on. It kind of did spark like a moment of bitch, you've lost who you were. Like what's happened to you? And it, it almost woke me up from this daze. The next morning I was like, I felt like I was me again. It was weird. And I've said this several times, but it's, but not really meant it. It was more so like I was on drugs. <laughs> I'm one year sober now. And if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you don't know that I've had a an addiction with alcohol and I also fell into drug abuse. Not um, hard, hard drugs, but you know, drugs so much has happened to me i went through an abusive relationship dealt with online drama that wasn't real like i it's really hard to wake up and i'm a huge people pleaser i'm a chameleon i i love people pleasing do you know what i mean and i love making others happy and when i realize that who i am isn't making people happy anymore it really affects me and then i want to change myself when in reality it's that those people just aren't meant for me i spent so much of my time caring about what others thought of me and it really affected my ability to be a human being on this planet on this earth i instead of saying f the haters and continuing and like pushing through the inertia of it i buckled to the depression to the anxiety to the sadness that is being a social media influencer low-key and being a public figure and having people rip into you whether it's reality or not reality i was that bitch and i felt like such a fucking loser being that bitch that just sat there and let people rip into me and i would listen to it and i would just submit to it like bitch stand up stand up bitch don't submit to that stuff because that shit isn't true not giving a fuck anymore is honestly what i had to get through to be able to be like like bitch why the fuck do you even care like no, the internet is no place to tell me who i am especially people on the internet they don't know me personally I'm, i have really severe adhd i've experienced a lot of miscommunication in my life because of it and it's caused a lot of problems in my life and i and it's not an excuse for my behaviors that i've displayed in the past but it's definitely an explanation and it's been an explanation from explanation ex explanation for me to understand why i acted the way that i did and how how am i going to change and maneuver around my mental my mental illness vibes to be the person that I'm supposed to be to enjoy my life. And so it's just been a lot. It's really been a lot for me. And I got a real job for a minute there. I've, I just quit not because I'm like, oh, I'm going to be a social media influencer full time again, but it's 
and I want to be, I would like to be an influencer full time again. And I am going to be making content again. And I am going to be streaming on Twitch a bunch. And I am going to be posting on TikTok. And I'm going to be busting my ass like I used to because I feel it in me. I have that spark in me again to do it. Um, I sat here and did my makeup smiling the whole fucking time because like, bitch, I'm doing my makeup for a video. Like, I'm just excited about it. Like, I don't know. Um, I did try being a social media manager for a business locally and um, it just didn't work out. I, you know, I asked the universe several times to give me a sign if I should quit and a sign they gave me. I can make that a story time on this channel eventually, but like right now it is still fresh and I'm still mad about it. But yeah, I try to do the 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 nine to five thing and, and having a, a, a job or whatever. And I just, I don't think it's meant for me. I think I'm supposed to be doing something very different. I, I don't think maybe an influencer is my end all be all for the rest of my life, but I definitely feel like I want to create. I'm a creator. I'm a creative. I am an artist. I'm, I'm an artistic person. I'm a fun person. I'm an entertaining person. And I want that to be what makes me, you know, sustainable in life. And if that's what I want, then that's what I'm gonna get. I did it the one time and I'm gonna do it again. And I am so over the moon grateful that I even have support still to this day. If you're sitting here watching this video and have been watching me since 2017, 2016, I love you. Thank you so much for still being here. And putting up with my ups and very low lows in my life like you are such an important person to me and you are the reason why i'm evil i even feel comfortable coming back to youtube and not feeling like a lost cause entirely so thank you thank you but yeah i i just wanted to give you guys that that bit of an update uh on this channel and what's been going on and another big update is my pronouns and my trans identity i want to make it very clear that um i know that i got into a little scuffle earlier in this year with uh peter bond and a few people that have misgendered me with um uh, he him pronouns listen i don't i don't take back the drama or the me getting upset about that but i do take back <laughs> the fact that uh, I go by she, her pronouns. It's really hard to explain. This is a complex conversation that I'm not necessarily ready to be having with you guys. But long story short, I came out a little bit too soon and it was an experience that I needed to have to understand if I really wanted to go that far. And I tried going that far and I realized it wasn't for me all the way. And I really do think I am a non-binary person. And I think my life is, I go into phases of being extremely femme and then I go into phases of being extremely masked and then I go into phases of being extremely in the middle and I am okay with he him pronouns they them pronouns and she her pronouns I don't want to fully med medical transition I don't want to go on hormones and have my whole body change I like having a very non-binary-esque body my body is very um gender fuck in the first place so you know I experience that and i needed to i wish i let myself do that privately rather than doing it publicly that was my biggest mistake and my biggest issue is speaking before i think and um so i am non-binary uh gender fluid just like i was prior to me coming out in the first place um so yeah i i wanted to make that announcement very clear as well that i'm i'm non-binary and i'm gonna stay non-binary that is my that is my confirmation. I'm sticking to that. That is my final answer. And I'm sorry for the confusion or it being weird or me making a big deal. Like, listen, I'm an idiot. And, uh, but also this is my life. And if I'm allowed to change my mind and revert back to things and go from here from there, I'm not going to keep this video any longer than maybe 10, 15 minutes. I just wanted to come in and be like, hey, y'all, I'm coming back. I'm, I'm here. I really want you guys to give me ideas, please sound off in the comment section with video ideas it doesn't need to be makeup related or it can be makeup adjacent just something that you want to see because i'm here for you i'm not on another thing i'm not on pr anymore on with a lot of makeup brands like brands don't send me pr anymore for a very good reason uh because i'm not active ever uh, so don't expect me to be reviewing the new products because bitch i'm not paying for that that's too expensive um if you are a brand that wants to reach out and have me uh you know, send me makeup. I'll have my, you know, you know, the spiel. Um, but yeah, follow me on my Twitch. 
follow me on my Twitter, follow me on my Instagram, follow me on my TikTok, follow me everywhere. Otherwise, I will come to your house, haunt you, and I'll I'll kill myself. Then what? I'm gonna emotionally manipulate you now. I'm gonna kill myself if you don't follow me.